In this video, I'll explain how you can use artificial intelligence to create custom text-to-speech videos for Reddit. I'll also show you how to use a program called Descript, which will allow you to create a text-to-speech copy of your own voice so that you can use it to create videos quicker. All right, so let me show you the two different variations of text-to-speech Reddit videos so that we are on the same page and we understand what we're talking about when we're talking about text-to-speech Reddit videos. So this is one of them by uh, Best Post and Comments. And as you can see, they play a little clip of it. That's like, no, I'm not just... So basically, it's just a text-to-speech video with the text straight copied straight from the Reddit post. And, it, and there's no comments, nothing. It's just, you know, built like that. That's one way to do it. I would, rec I would discourage against this one. But the other Reddit comment, the other form of Reddit videos that are being created is a live voice. So this one's by Karma Comment Chameleon. What he does is he takes the Reddit post. Let me play it a little bit. Day to day. So he gives you the post text, and then he reads it out loud, and then he gives commentary. This is the one I would recommend. However, some people are shy. They don't want to speak. They don't want to use their own voice. Maybe they have an accent or for maybe they have a speech impediment. Whatever the case may be, I, I understand. It took me a while to get used to hearing this on my own voice as well. So I'm going to show you a method that's new, that's never, that's not being used. At least I haven't seen it on YouTube. That's a hybrid between this one right here, which is pure text-to-speech, and this one right here, which is a live voice. And that's using the script, the script software. This is this software right here. And what you can do with this software, you can clone your own voice. You can take your you can take your own voice and then you can clone it. So it's a live voice. You're you're live and you're using your live recording to then put into the AI to create a text to speech copy of your voice. So it's a hybrid between the two videos. And I think it's much more efficient because if you were to make uh, a video like this or like this, it's both time consuming and it's high risk because what happens if they ban pure text to speech? Then you're, if you use pure text to speech, that's a purely synthetic voice, you, you might not be able to get monetized. And if you use your live voice, it might take a while. Or if you lose a, a voice artist, it takes a lot of money. So this one's a good alternative. It has the best of both worlds. You're using a live voice that's your own, and you don't have to spend a lot of work to record. All right, so let me go over the steps. What you're going to do, first off, is you're going to uh, download and use a, a software called Descript. This software, it, it's many things in one, but the one thing that, the thing that it does best is it records your own voice, as mentioned earlier. And it allows you to create an AI copy. Like I, I created an AI copy of my voice. I have a link to another video that you can see the results of what it sounds like. What you have to do is you have to train it for at least an hour or at least 35 minutes, but the more, the better. Every single time I record a video, I, I basically improve the algorithm. And once, once you have it trained, it takes about a day. And if you want to do it really quick, from there, you can simply Go to the Reddit thread. Let me show you what that looks like. So you go to the Reddit thread right here that you like, and you just simply copy the the text. So this right here would be right the the title or the thread. I would then go back to the script. I would go into a new new project. Type in Reddit uh, sailboat thread. Now you can make it on any kind of thread you like. All right, but once you Go, gone ahead and created your AI voice, you just simply you select your voice. Or if you don't like your voice, let's say you don't want to record anything, you can just simply select the voice actors. Right? These are also live people. Right? You can select their voice actor's voice and have them read the text for you. But I prefer my own voice. So I want to go ahead and create my voice here and paste the text. Right? And the great thing about it is it adds more dynamic to it because you can add your own voice reading the question. And then you can add someone else's voice for each person reading a different comment. And I'll show you that as we go along. So I just paste the text. I attach it to my voice and it will later generate the audio portion to this. Let me go on to the, let me go on to the next text. So this is the, the question. And then I copy, copy and simply paste it in to here. 
and as I paste it, it will slowly create the text to speech audio. So there, let me play a little bit for you. The text messages from businesses. If you're say so this is now go back. There's flash sales and promotions. That's the old one. Let me go back and create a new one. So that's the old project. I, I should have created a new one. Sorry about that. All right. So basically the same thing. You just paste it in here and then you add the speaker. So I'm going to go ahead and create, create it using my voice. So there you go. It's generating the voice for me. All right. And all I have to do now is add an image that connects to this, this audio. Right? So that's easy. All I have to do is find the image that's, since we're talking about sailboats in this Reddit thread, I go ahead and add the image of a sailboat and simply, and all I simply have to do is highlight the, the portion that I like the image to show up for maybe this part right here and simply drag the image into here. So now it has the image and it has the text now. And the other thing I can do is I can add smart captioning, which I'll show you later on. So as you can see how the, how it's slowly starting to form the text to speech image using a hype, which is your, your own voice, your live voice or another voice actor. And it's not taking that much time at all. All right. So let me continue. Now I just do the same thing for the comment. And so from here, enter becomes a new section. And then from here, I just copy the comment from here. All right. Copy and add it in to here. And I might want to change the, the voice. So let's say this is no longer, maybe I want to change it to this one here. And you can always sample. Life is like a Life camera. Like a ca All right. So I might want to change it to maybe. Life is like a camera. Maybe this one. And then I can just go ahead and do the same thing and add another image that, cor that, that basically lasts for as long as a comment. All right. So I don't have to play around with the timelines or anything like that. If I could edit a word document, I can easily create a text to speak. Reddit video using my own voice and just making it very easy. So I'm going to add an, another image into here, be this one here. So let me take a look at that. The two different images. And now for the finishing, finishing touches, I can add the text as a, a subtitle. Instead of having it just stay with a static image, I can add it dynamically here, which gives it a different spin on the traditional Reddit text to speech videos. So I will easily do that by highlighting. I don't have to play with timelines or anything. I just highlight everything. I love this software. I press control K. I type in caption and I'd click on fancy insert fancy caption. And there you go. Now you have a cool text to speech Reddit video using a live voice image that corresponds to it, different voices, different live voices, and you have a dynamic caption. So let me go ahead and play that for you. I'll leave a uh, in the description below so you can check it out later, but this is what it looks like real quick. I'm fairly new to sailing. Fairly I was at least able to finish my first beer can race without incident last weekend and piece about the basics. I'm wondering what the maximum safe amount of people to fit on a 27 footer for a day sail. I'll still be able to sail W. So you might have to write the full abbreviation LT light wins. You might have to type in light and sail without the engine. So you just have to make those corrections. But as you can see, this is being read by my cloned voice. This is not me reading it, right? Me reading it is I'm fairly new to sailing, but was at least able to finish my first beer uh, can race without incident last weekend. So that's me reading it. And then you can compare that to the text to speech voice. And let me just continue on let it. Oh, the play. engine. Anything I should know about sailing with more people on board and fairly new to sailing, but was at least able to finish my first beer can race without incident last weekend and feel decent about the basics and wondering what the maximum safe amount of people to fit on a 27 footer for a day sail in LT wins. I'll still be able to sail the other engine. Anything I should know about sailing with more people on board. There are three numbers. One is the number of people that can physically fit without sinking. One is the number that can fit while being able to handle the sheets, tiller and distribute. So, as you can see, let me just really add the fancy tech captioning here. Let me add that in here. But as you can see, there's a voice chain. You can see that the image automatically corresponds to the fancy caption. Everything is automatically done for you. So you don't have to do, I didn't have to do a lot of work. 
in the image <clears throat> that I inserted, it, let me just go ahead and reinsert this. Let me delete this real quick. Let me reinsert it. So I have to highlight it and then insert it into here. So then it blasts the entire of the, of this text. And then I just put the captions over that. I like this control K type in caption and insert fancy caption in here. So let me play the transition. CRW, or the engine, anything I should know about sailing with more people aboard. There are three numbers. One is the number of people that can physically fit without sinking. And so it basically sounds like a live conversation. It's very dynamic. Now, let's say I don't really like this voice. Let me go ahead and change this. Let's say I don't really like Henry. I could maybe. Life is like a can. Life is like. Yeah, maybe I'll use this one. And then I have to wait a little bit because now it has to replace all the audio with uh, this new voice. But once it's done, it'll let me know. And it's dynamic. This is a, ladies and gentlemen, this is a new text to speech. I read a text to speech video that you can create that is not out there. And it, it's higher. It seems like higher quality. It seems like it's more work, but it's actually less work because you're working smarter you're using an AI tool like the script to do all the heavy lifting for you, to synchronize the caption for you, to synchronize the image for you, to speak for you. All of that work is out. You don't have to, you know, do any like heavy lifting. And that's the amazing part. So let's go ahead. I think it's done. Let me go ahead and play. The transition section. No, Dalian, with more people poor. There are three numbers. One is the number of people that can physically fit without sink. One is the number that can fit while being able to handle the sheets, tiller, and distribute drinks. The last is the number of people that can comfortably. Now, I gotta check out the reason why. Oh, so this is too short. Let me let me go ahead and see why this is. Uh, I don't know why it's it's not going all the way through, but if you have to adjust it the old fashioned way, you can simply just drag it so that it covers the entirety of the text. All right. Do that for you. But most of the time it, it's pretty good at it. All right. So let's go ahead and play it one more time. And it does it automatically for you. Know about sailing with more people aboard. There are three numbers. One is the number of people that can physically fit without sinking. One is the number that can fit while being able to handle the sheets, tiller, and distribute drinks. The last is the number of people that can comfortably overnight on board. I'd put these numbers at 20, 5, and 2 for a boat like that. See? It sounds like a live conversation. And uh, you have dynamic text, you have images, you have different voice actors. Now, if you were to actually pay someone to read this for you like a live person this will get very expensive quickly just for the audio section then you have to insert the audio and time it with the image and the caption and add the text as well that would take you hours using this method and this software this one software you can create a high quality reddit text speech video that's probably better than most of the reddit text speech videos out there at a fraction of the time at a fraction of the cost so if you want to check out this software, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Menace 2, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.